amazing thing, man. This, this highlights our trip. This is uh, awesome. Look at this. Here, I'm hands down the greatest rider that ever rode a horse, Angel Padero. He is, look at him on the horse. We talk about horse and a met human in rhythm. Nobody better. There's great ones, but I think he was the greatest. Look at this history. Here, I'll go over to here. I worked for this guy here. Scott Campbell at Dogwood Stable. Uh, we won quite a few races here at uh, Saratoga, but that was in 1980. Bill Mott speaks for itself. Great trainer. over here John Velasquez I just got a picture taken with him today great rider great rider he's the leader in the jocks room uh, Velasquez that what do you think yeah people all the riders look up to him oh, I mean wow. you'll hear it he's, he's just uh, just a wonderful person oh. Angel Cabrero John Velasquez Watch him on this horse here. Look at that. Rags the riches. Belmont Stakes. Wow. Is it the other side? Totally awesome. You want to go check the other side? Yeah. Um, you got the, you got the Jerry. But Jerry Bailey was a great one. He's now an announcer. Great, great rider. Jerry had it in his hands. He was just, uh, you know, all the great riders, it's all in the hands, you know, and there it is. He retired, I think, right at right time. What a dangerous sport. You gotta love it, though. So, on the top of the... Yeah, look up top here, look at this. This is the Hall of Fame. Rachel Alexander with Mike Smith up on. Who's that? 1863. Here you got Mitchell. That's Jerry Bailey. I don't know who he's on there. And what is this about? That's Angel Padero. What there. is this thing about? What's that? Oh, this is the blacksmiths. Uh, this is what they, they work with. Don't bang the shoes. Fix everything for the horse's shoes, the feet. And the first woman. Mary Lou is a legend. Sarat Saratoga is her. Okay. Yeah, she's done everything for horse racing. She's done a lot for the backside. I mean, she just uh, uh, she was just a wonderful, wonderful person that just loved horse racing, loved the backstretch workers. I mean, she's just uh, just a, what, she just passed a little bit ago. Look at that. And they still wear her silks. Her silks are still, here it is. This is the Mary Lou Witten suit, silks. Still beautiful. Wow. With, I don't know, without, without her and horse racing, I don't know where it would be. Seriously. Yeah, she was all that love. She loved it. There she is. Extends far beyond breeding and owning. Earning her an Eclipse Award of Merit in 2010. She has given generously to the cause of Great Horse Aftercare oh, yeah. mm -hmm. through the Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation okay, yeah. and Kentucky Horse Park. Any horse that she ever bred is welcome back home on the farm if the owner no longer wishes to race them, which is good. She should only pick them up in Montana. And bring them back to the farm. The best thing we must have is our backstretch workers. Look at that. Talking about the backwards street work. And dangerous situations were all vulnerable and poor conditions. All of us should try. 
morto a dor da Lois a da graça de Whitney and husband John Hendrickson extend their gratitude to these people through the Backstretch Appreciation Program, which provides meals and activities to stable health and their families. And knowing that they're being appreciated by somebody who's very well respected in the horse racing industry where they work, that feels really great. You know, wow. she just is a wonderful, wonderful person. Generous, gracious. Absolutely. Um, she's uh, beautiful. She just such a great person. She is. She the title is racing. Saratoga. And here's the history of uh, the timeline. Saratoga Race Course. It's the timeline. 1864, and so on. What can you say about Jerkins? Alan Jerkins. Oh, he's just, Alan Jerkins was the, they, his nickname was the Giant Killer. <laughs> Why? He put a had a horse onion that beat Secretariat. Wow. Yeah. That was, I don't that age, Alan. Yeah. Okay. Alan Jerkins, they call him the Giant Killer. Wow. How about, uh, Everybody felt when he passed, it's just like they lost their own brother, their own father. This guy was just, he was the best. How about Ogden Mills Phillips? Who? Ogden, Ogden Phillips? Yeah. yeah. Who is he? I don't, I, I don't know too much about him, to be honest. Not much. Okay. He has a good stable. Yeah, he has a stable. He's trained horses. He's a thoroughbred owner. Yeah. Okay, how about William? Oh, you already talked about William Mott Bailey. And how about, um, we're almost done, Ramon Dominguez. Oh, great rider. Great rider. He's a legend. He's a legend. He does so much for the back backstretch workers, too. Just, just a great, great guy. How about Bob Buffer? Well, as of right now, he's under all the, uh, you know, for drug and horses. He, he's had horses, you know, die off. He's coming up positive with horses oh. after they pissed at some But he suspended him, and now he's back, so we'll see if he learns. Okay, how about this guy here? How about Tom Durkin? Tom Durkin. Who is it? Tom Durkin. Tom Durkin is the voice of New York racing. Really? Tom Durkin is a legend. He's, I don't know how you call a race. Try that sometime. Try to figure, get, get, get the program and try to do, do a race. It's, it's so hard. You can't and he do did. it. And he just thought. I can't hear it. Yeah, he's a great caller. He's the best. Okay, how about the other guy, Wayne Lucas? D. Wayne Lucas. Well, D. Wayne Lucas. I'll tell you this. D. Wayne Lucas. Todd Pletcher wouldn't be where he's at without D. Wayne Lucas. D. D. Wayne Lucas taught him everything he knows. You know, he was assistant trainer to D. Wayne Lucas, and now he went out on his own, and, you know, his results speak for itself. There he is. Hall of Fame. These two were connected. Okay. His nickname is the coach because he coached True Ball before. Mm. And, uh, Eclipse Awards, I was, outstanding. Look at that, 85, 86, 87, and 94. And here you see everybody. This is absolutely silly. This is, look at that, 1941 with Eddie Arcaro up there. Where? Look at that, 1913. Do you get this one over here? 1941, that's Eddie Arcaro. Okay, who's that? Who is this? Yeah. 1962. Eddie Arcaro. You know that? 1941. Yeah, just tell by looking at it. You know it, you're in horse racing, you know it. I don't know who this is right here. There's Eddie Arcaro again, right there. Jerry Bailey, Mike Smith. 
cool. And Jeff and Daryl upstairs. Mm. I still go back to this. Look at the seat on that horse. Look, look at him. Look at his body. I don't see that. And he's a docs agent now. He's got the young boat boy, Gomez. And Gozma, Gomez can ride. He's going to be all right. You know, he's got that five pound bug allowance. I don't know who that is, but that was in 1863. Maybe he's one of the founders of this place. Very soon. Okay, so yeah, welcome everybody to Look see here. Yeah, yeah. Come over and enjoy the like what Saratoga race course can yeah, uh, offer to. He had a lot of good Okay, say goodbye now. Yeah. Live snack. Look at that ride on that horse. Okay, we're done. All right, thank you. Thank you, and come over. Sayonara. Enjoy. Sayonara. Beautiful, Lisa. I didn't realize it when I started looking at it. That's where I got my picture taken. Now, is this picture... Come here, look at Ramon. Uh, goodbye for now. And... Huh? I want to see the picture that I got. And that's the Saratoga hat. You put one red and one black. A lot of shirts.